What's up, guys? King of the North here, back with some more Valheim with my main man, Bob. How's it going, everybody? We did a lot of off-camera work, grinding out tons of iron. Uh, nobody wanted to see us dig, run back, dig up more, farm out wood, put all the metal pieces together. So we did all that off-camera. We are all decked out in new iron armor. We do have a iron mace for this next fight as the boss is weak to blunt damage and not piercing. That's right. I also have an iron tower shield. Bomb has an, an iron uh, like buckle shield, it looks like. Uh, so I think we're ready to go into this next boss fight. Going into this boss fight, we do need the bone pieces. What, what are they called, Bomb? The uh, withered bones, which we found in the, the crypts or whatever. Right. So we need like, what are those, eight or ten of those for the I sacrifice? I believe uh, ten is correct. Okay. I'm just standing next to the fire to get my f health up after eating some food. Yeah. Get, um, get the regen. And then we got poison potions. Do you got those? I have three. Okay, they last 8 or 10 minutes each, so um, hopefully that's enough for a whole fight, or else there's a big problem. I did take some stuff off the equipment bar here, like the <clears throat> hammer and axe, just because I don't think I'm going to need those here. No need carrying the extra weight around. Uh, uh, another thing to point out, too, is the iron armor that we are wearing slows us down, so during long travels, we'll, we'll need to unequip that just so we can run a little bit better. But uh, I'm good to go HP-wise, so... Same. Follow, follow your lead here, Bomb. Alright. I, uh, I constructed a bit of an arena around this boss summon, as the viewers will soon be able to tell, just because I didn't want random swamp enemies coming in and uh, attacking us. While we were doing the fight. Oh, okay, so there's a bunch of wooden platforms down here then. Alright. Yeah, yeah. I just started with the wood, and I was like, wait a minute, I got the hoe. And then I raised, like, the rest. So, like, this quarter's wood, the other three quarters of the circle or so is land. Okay, Just because, cool. you know, the wood would be a big thing. The rune is back here, and then there's a giant mouth. As you can tell, this might be a skull. And it's very, uh, it's harmful to look at. Uh, it's certainly something. Um, all right, I guess we're good to go here. So, uh, okay. beat it with the mallets, obviously, and shield up when possible. All right, I'm drinking my poison resist. Oh, good idea. And it okay. says, cook their remains. So you get the smoker, and I'll get the, uh, the juju fruit. <laughs> all right, I gotta put it on my bar. Here we go. Ready? Let's do it. I don't know how big or small this guy is. I assume he comes out of the mouth, but I guess it's entirely possible. He's going to be behind it. Oh, Just yeah. We're meeting. The mass is moved. Oh, look at that. Okay. That uh, looks like he... my ex-girlfriend. Damn. I was just going to say Ghostbusters. I guess it kind of looks like it has a, a um, boogie boogie man from... Oh, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. All right, True. so that's poison, for sure. All right. It's ticking a little bit, but hopefully... Probably dead without the potion. All right, so the blobs are definitely weak to poison damage. All right, yeah, poison damage, uh, blunt damage. No need to be so blunt. Uh, <laughs> okay, I got smacked there. I was trying to roll out. Did another barf. We don't have the eye frames that the beloved FromSoft games give us. Oh, he's throwing something. A lot of poison. Oh, oh my god. He, he broke my wood. I seen like a whole bunch of numbers pop up. I guess that yeah. was damage to all the platforms. It's unfortunate. Also, did he break the door to the portal? Why do they always target portals, man? What's up with that? Good jerk. Did some poisoning, but I'm staying in there. I'm not. I'm not letting them get the best of us. Yeah, I'm trying to just uh, 
get some health back from all the poison that's been going out. Yeah. <clears throat> Right. Oh. Okay, and now I gotta stay out because yeah, I missed I that block. Just run back a little bit, probably. Arrow's very useless. I'm doing uh, five damage. And oh, he's summoning slimes. The blobs. When he throws something, they turn into blobs. Did you know that? Uh, I've seen a couple blobs pop out. I've killed them. Okay. Well, then I was the one. Not knowing it, my bad. Oh, he's turning around. Not good for yeah, King, but roll, I'm gonna get the some... rollout. The rollout's perfect for this to get away from him. Oh, there you go. Nice to hear. Look at that. All right, if he takes turns and goes one two against us, that's it's perfect time for us to hit him back. Perfect. This is the uh, perfect strategy that works in Sekiro with the uh, drunkard. Play some ping pong with the old man. Get the boss down. That's right. And to be fair, this guy looks a bit drunk too, so maybe yeah. it's just all drunkards. Keep an eye on my food buffs here. I'm probably gonna have to reload back up. Alright, I'm coming in from behind. That's what he said. That's true. Uh oh, gotta got a big block situation going on. I'm trying to just not go in the poison as much as possible to keep... Um, shit intact. Obviously very slow because of the shield. I'm going to try to unequip it so to see if I can... Always. There you go. It's not a bad idea. Did it always acid rain or did that just start? Um, I think the acid rain just started. Is that doing damage to us? I don't know. I think we're okay. So I'm just standing in poison. I don't think it's doing any additional damage. But who can say? Just gonna Wait walk for over here. Far cloud that he just did to clear out so I can. He's fast. Yeah, I gotta wait for some food to tick up. But if he's looking at you, I'm gonna swing. Oh, he's looking at me again. Alright, poison's coming back. Gotta roll out. Uh, <clears throat> if you're doing this by yourself, obviously the best way to go about this is uh, using the skull here in the middle as a kite obstacle for yourself. Now I'm picking up a whole bunch of wood. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. Oh. Turn around just in time to see him swinging at me. Shit. Just dodge that poison. I think the fence is working though, because nothing else is joining the battle. Yeah, that, that was a good idea. Take care. Oh, he threw it up there. Shit. He's doing another spit. Seems yeah, to last blobs, 12 seconds. Blobs don't take much damage from arrows either, but I gotta try getting these guys off the fucking of this thing. He threw this in a really shitty position for us. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Alright, top one's dead. The other one came down. I'm gonna see if I can grab him. Okay. Alright, he's done. <clears throat> There's one more blob, but uh, we, we almost got him down. Gotta be patient here. Yeah. Oh, shit, I actually took a shot there. I didn't know he was looking at me. Oh. Sorry, everything's green. Is he doing another one? All right, the other one. down. He threw that one outside the fence, so hopefully that one just doesn't jump over, but I guess it technically could. Actually, any blob could, so the fence is actually worthless at points. So, oops. All right, I'm going to use this opportunity to Poison damage. Roll out. 
food buffs might be getting a little low. Yeah, I just reapplied the snake tail that was down low on me, so... Okay. Yeah, I got under three minutes on my poison resist. We should probably be able to get him by then. As long as he doesn't do a bunch of crappy combos in a row. If he turns around and looks at you, that'd be great. Oh, there we go. No fence. No, that's good. Um, just because I'm... The roll is super, like, efficient here. Poison's coming, get out. Uh, that swine came in here, the blob. We got him. Oh. He's done. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna shoot some arrows. I know they're useless, but it's better than nothing. Oh, shit, he threw four of them out? Uh oh. Oh, wow, he... Did he just kill his own blob? No. Alright, I blocked just in time. I took out all the blobs. Alright, he's poisoning, oh, no. get out. There's one blob left. It's at low health. Okay, we got him. Alright, I'm gonna walk up, you hit him in the back. Okay, I wait for the poison to clear out here. Oh, yeah, true, 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 true. Alright, still got his attention. I'll let you know if he shifts. Oh, there's extra right, blobs coming, coming, coming from coming, outside. Alright, he's switching. Now's when we bring him down. He's done. There we go. The mass is no longer moving. Alright, let's clear up these blobs here. That's what they say after Sunday church. After you go to Denny's, the mass is no longer moving. <sighs> I bring tidings. Uh-oh. here. I got him. Let's talk to our friend, Ugin. <coughs> is he out there? Yeah. It seems oh. one of the many bones this living ossuary hid in his belly was a wishbone. This bone contains powerful magic that guides you to things hidden in the earth. It can locate silver veins, but may also lead you to buried treasure. Which we did find a treasure chest already. That's true. Uh, so interesting. Uh, we can buy. We can find silver veins. I'm not sure what silver would be used for, uh, but I'm guessing we'll find out as soon as we pick the wishbone up right here. I probably have to drop all the wood that I. No, I should be able to pick it up. Alright, uh, I have two wishbones, so let me drop one of these for you, Bob. Oh, sure. Thank you. Remembers location of many forgotten things. Oh, I'm equipping it. You can sense hidden objects. Oh, it's just straight up equip? Alright. Yeah, just like the, uh, the clothes or the belt. Um... I don't see anything on my map, so I guess we have to walk near the new things, the, the silver? Probably. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to just start digging straight down here to see if, uh... Find any... It's a swamp, though. It's gonna fill up water. Yeah. Oh, I found the raven, too. It's like the first time I've seen him in, like, 20 hours. And strangely enough, he said the exact same thing he said to you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it would look like either. Right. Or... Um, should we portal back and think about it? Yeah, let's portal back to the base, maybe see if something, like, things are, because we did find buried treasure back at the house the one time. Yeah, literally right under our plot of land. So, silver, buried treasure. Um, we know the leeches drop blood bags to make the, um, the cold resist buff, so we can head to the mountains. <laughs> Technically, two. I don't know if that's next in progression. Let's try to uh, find some of this treasure. Seen something shining on the ground, like, oh my god, did I already find something? It was a gray dwarf trophy, though. Uh oh. Uh, I don't see anything on them. Like, there's no other pings on the map. There's gotta be. I just wanna run around a little bit, see if I can find anything outside here. I'm just going to dig straight down and see if I can come up with anything. You know, I'm starting. Yeah. Actually, I'm starting in the middle of a mountain right now, so let me down to this side here and see. 
gonna reapply food buffs real quick. Um, I'm, I'm standing at a spot. I'm getting some weird glows that I've never gotten off my body. Uh, let me I... let me come over and take a look. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, I think I just saw something pop up over you. Yeah. Yeah, this has got to be... It's probably the thing, so let's... Yeah, because that's the color that's around the wishbone, too, uh, on the... Let's dig down True. here. Maybe find True. treasure, like we did last time, or that silver. part is do we got to keep digging straight down or just out right because this is pretty much a crater and if we got to do this each time that's that's quite the uh, project I imagine this thing probably pings more as you get closer potentially See, let me okay I'm walking outside the outer part of the hole and it still pings on certain parts but maybe it's like every five seconds all right let's go in a direction and see if it's okay it's not pinging it all over here but you're getting it down there Still going on my body in this direction. Doesn't seem more frequent though. Now, no, oh, there it goes again. Oh, hmm. uh, I might have hit like a bedrock here. Uh, might not be able to go any lower. Yeah, it looks like looks like this is as low as I can go. So we might as well just try to dig out from this area, I guess. Okay. Uh, there's trees down here now careful that it doesn't fall on you because there's a big tree coming soon too oh jeez yeah seem a little more frequent where I am, which is just close to where you are, so I'm going to dig down and maybe we'll meet underground. Okay. If I wandered a little bit, there were five seconds in between, and right here there's about three seconds in between, so it's like a hot and cold system. Maybe that would be explaining that. Back over, over here. Yeah. Alright. 
Like, stand right here and you get it every three seconds, right? Like, more often than it was. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if there's a better tick than that. But three seconds seems smart. One, two, three. three. Okay, it's still three over here. It's worse already if I go that way. Oh, my pickaxe just broke. All right, let me pause real quick. I'm going to repair and come back. All right, we repaired the pickaxe. I uh, did a little bit more walking around. The ping is pretty frequent here, as you can compare to what we just saw. I'm gonna try I got to a little better spot, even. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, over on that side of the tree. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty you, constant. There you pretty, go. Pretty clear visual. It's pinging much faster than what it was. So we'll dig straight down. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, there we go. Uh, and in it was gold. Looks like uh, fire arrows and just a ruby. Alright. Um, shouldn't it stop then? Uh, it, we'll probably have to get rid of the chest. Maybe. Yep. Alright, oh. so that, that clears that then. And was there this in like a circle of stones? Yeah. So there's different stones all around that I've seen that have like this like little circular pattern. <laughs> I'm wondering if we go back to those, you can end up finding uh, more treasure chests like that because uh, those like alignments of stones are pretty common it seems. So, uh, but that's going to do it for this episode guys. We're 21 minutes in. Hope this... Uh, Helped you with any strategies that you need for this boss I know, that we just did. I know I know it's one of the harder bosses in the game. So for now, guys, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Peace. See ya.